Hey classical musicians of YouTube, in today's video we're going to talk about five different jobs that you can get in the classical music industry. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't want to miss this. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. I do a lot of violin content, do a lot of classical music videos on this channel, so please consider subscribing. We're going to dive in right away and what I'm going to do is I'm going to state the three most obvious jobs that you can get in classical music. So number one is to teach. Teaching provides a very steady income. Um, if you have built a reputation in your community and you are a, a renowned name, you can actually make upwards of fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year. You know, depending on the, how much you charge, depending on your education and etc. There are so many different factors that go into how much you charge for a private lesson. For me, I have close to thirty. Uh, private students and that ranges between 30 minutes to one hour to 45 minutes. These are all various, you know, various times depending on the location and the school that I'm teaching at. And luckily I'm able to make a good living by teaching. So that is my bread and butter. And I recommend anybody who is a classical musician, violinist, or any other instrumentalist for that matter, to take up teaching to have that steady income you know, coming your way. The next obvious choice is to perform. Performing is an essential part of being a classical musician because you are you know, going to school to perform and you are going to school to learn these masterworks and to be able to perform these masterworks and also compose and play new music. Common job is orchestra job, you can get a string quartet job, uh, you can you know, be a recitalist and a soloist. There are many areas where you can perform and I encourage you to you know, take up performing if you're not a performer, try to get your you know, feet into the deep end and see if you can try performing doing local concerts in your community. The third obvious way to earn a living as a classical musician is by selling recordings, by making music. You can put on Spotify, Apple Music, you know, Pandora, you can put your music on various streaming platforms so that way you can get some revenue on that. You can make recordings and then simultaneously promote a tour with that recording, with that CD, with that album that you just released. So you can put those two categories, you know, simultaneously. You can maybe do step one performing, you know, step two A, or completely step two, make an album, and then step three, perform with whatever music you recorded. So that way, you know, when you're selling merchandise and when you're selling albums at performances, you can easily, you know, generate more revenue. Now let's go into the two not so obvious ways to earn a living as a classical musician. The first one is to start a music business. Wait, Eric, what do you mean by start a music business? So isn't teaching, isn't performing, isn't all of that a music business? Yes, but I'm talking in the more literal term by starting an LLC, by starting a music store or a, or a music rental shop and or a, music, or a sheet music store. Those are various ways that you can continue uh, generating revenue or completely you know, ignore the performance and the teaching side of things and just generate revenue by creating a sheet music store or by or even the music store, general music store, where you can sell strings, where you can sell various you know, instruments and various accessories. Or if you're a violinist, or if you're not a violinist, but you want to expand outside your instrument, you can definitely start a music school. And that also lies into the music business part because starting a music school in your local area could be a wonderful way for you to generate revenue when there is not a music school for you to compete with. So that's something that I encourage you to try. If you love classical music, or if you're not even a performer, you didn't go to school for performance, but you genuinely love classical music, then I recommend you get a job in music administration. There are orchestras and music organizations and nonprofit music organizations constantly trying to find quality candidates for them to do development, fundraising, marketing. There are so many ways for you to be on the business and behind the scenes side of things rather than being on stage. There you have it. Those are five different jobs that you can get in the classical music industry. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you because these videos are not sponsored. Also, be sure to check out some of my other videos right over here and right over here on the channel. Thanks so much and see you in the next one.